Hello, I'm Steve Double. I'm the Conservative Parliamentary candidate for St Austin Newquay for next year's general election. And I'm here at the Royal Cornwall Show, which for me is still one of the, the big highlights of the year here in Cornwall. I remember coming here as a, a little kid, being brought here by my grandparents, and keep coming back as often as I can because it, it's just a great celebration of Cornwall with obviously the agricultural industry and the farming community right at the heart of it. And it's just a wonderful three days to be here, meeting up with old friends and, and visiting the stands uh, here at the Royal Cornwall. Uh, it's now less than 11 months until the general election, which is on the 7th of May next year, when I hope to be elected as the Conservative MP for St Austin and Newquay. And my campaign's been going really well over the last few months. I've been getting a really good response from local people. As I've been talking to them on the doors and listening to their concerns and the things that they want from their MP in this area. I've had a, a, the usual visits from ministers and cabinet members. I was really pleased to be able to welcome Chris Grayling, the Justice Minister, to Newquay just a few weeks ago, where I took him to the Newquay Police Station and we met with representatives from Newquay Safe. Chris Grayling visited in 2009 when Newquay was facing some real problems with antisocial behaviour and underage drinking. And right at the start of when the Newquay Safe Scheme was put together, he came and visited and, and, and saw what needed to be achieved. So it was really great to bring Chris back to Newquay five years later and meet with the police and representatives from Cornwall Council and the Town Council, the business community and local residents to see the, the real progress that has been made in Newquay in addressing some of the, the issues that the, the town's been facing. It was also great to welcome the Chancellor George Osborne to St Austell, where I took him to St Austell Brewery, which is a great local business that's been growing, creating jobs and, and taking on apprentices. And George was able to see what a great local business this is. He was able to listen to their concerns and they were also able to tell him what a great thing it's been for him to cut the beer duty and also cancel the beer escalator. Yeah, well I'm in Cornwall to see what we can do to support the Cornish economy, create good jobs here, make sure we're investing in the roads and the railways uh, here and uh, I wanted to come to this famous brewery, see for myself what a fantastic uh, job they do and uh, I've been hugely impressed and uh, you know the great thing is also it's not just a great product, great Cornish product, it's also creating new jobs here, new apprentices here, it's exactly the kind of thing we want to see more of. And Steve is going to be a great Member of Parliament here. We also had a visit from Ed Vasey, who's the Minister for the Culture, Media and Sports, and I took him to Nuco Training in Travisco, which is another great small Cornish business based in the rural area of Travisco, but is growing and providing jobs and providing a service right across the UK and uh, increasingly into Europe. And uh, Ed was able to listen to what a great thing Superfast Broadband has been and how that is creating new business opportunities for us here in Mid Cornwall. Well I'm here to see Steve Double, that's why I've come down to Cornwall because uh, it's a great chance to uh, meet this brilliant man who's going to be the next MP here, but also to highlight what is happening with broadband in Cornwall. So Cornwall is absolutely the frontier of our rural broadband rollout and it is uh, ahead of the queue, it's probably the best connected part of Europe in rural terms. It may well be the best connected rural area in the world. Uh, there are people now getting speeds of 40 megabits and above uh, in very rural areas and by the end of this year roughly 9 in 10 uh, of households will be able to access what we call super fast broadband which speeds of 24 megs and that's pretty fast broadband. And I'll be meeting Newco here and lots of other businesses who have uh, really benefited and turned their businesses, you know, really grown their business on the back of broadband. As many of you may have heard, my wife Anne and I are going to undertake a sponsored walk from the Eden Project in Cornwall to the House of Commons in Westminster. Just next Saturday on the 14th of June, we're going to be leaving at 9.30 in the morning and walking the 250 miles to Westminster. We're doing this in aid of two really important local charities, the Cornwall Air Ambulance and the Children's Hospice South West. We've been really encouraged with the level of support we've had from local people. We've already raised over £2,500. And if you'd like to sponsor us and support us on our walk, then please go to my website, which is stevedouble.org.uk, and click on the Double Challenge, and there's a link there where you can donate. My campaign's now really going to be hodding up over the next few months, and I'm going to be out 
meeting as many local people as possible, listening to your concerns and understanding exactly how you would want me to represent you as your MP. If you'd like to support my campaign or get involved in any way, then please do get in touch. You can contact me through my website, stevedouble.org.uk, or you can telephone me uh, on the number on the screen. I've been really grateful with all the support I've had from local people over the recent months for my campaign and I'd love to hear from you, so please do get in touch.